Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. So, what am I going to be using? I'm going to be using a new soap for the channel, and that is Holy Cool, King of Bourbon. Holy Cool, Holy Cow, however you choose to pronounce it. It's completely up to you. Um, okay, so yeah, this is my soap for today. I've used this a couple of times, and I have to say, it's fucking great. Uh, one of the better soap bases I've used, for sure. My razor of choice today is going to be my 8th or ninth use of the Carve Shaving Co. Christopher Bradley razor. And inside this is a Persona Lab Blue on its third use. My brush of choice, after I put the razor down, is my Zen Garden Wolf Whiskers Custom Knot with a, uh, I think it's Black Wolf. Synthetic, lovely, really, really nice knot. One of the nicer synthetic knots I've used. I'm going to go into more detail about the soap uh, when it comes to actually lathering up, scent and whatnot when I do that. Uh, post shave today is just going to be the, uh, the King of Bourbon toner. I'm not going to be using anything else just to see how it works with my skin. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, kind of prep my face, load the brush, and I'll see you guys for lathering up, I guess. I'll see you guys in a sec. Hey guys, um, face is prepped as you can see. On my face at the moment there is the blue mortar and the uh, loose soap from the puck. So I've got my phone here. It says it's scented with notes of tobacco, bourbon vanilla, ginger, vetiver, cipriol, ylang ylang and cassie absolute. Um, the most of what I get from here it's definitely the bourbon vanilla, quite a bit of the ginger, a tiny bit of vetiver, and not too much else. So I've got the load here, I've loaded fairly heavy, let's lather up. So in terms of lathering this soap, the experience I've had with it is it's rather thirsty. I like to drink. <laughs> Fill my sink. If I sound a bit weird, I have a cold, so forgive me. Okay. Man. It's weird because my sink, uh, the water keeps draining in my sink. It's a fucking pain in the ass. Right. Start adding water. Beautiful scent on this. As far as the soap base goes as well, it's excellent. I'd say it's like, um, you get some lathers, that are very slick, but not very high structure. This is a very high structure ladder. ladder. Um, once like fully hydrated, it, it's extremely dense. Move that out, have a look. Nope, can still take a bit more water. Let's get the uh, kind of like line here. This on the brush. Keep adding water.
um, were pretty close. Pretty close. It, it can keep, water can keep being added though. For sure, so we're going to do that. Is, I, I normally wear v-necks for this because it can get extremely messy. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, okay. So smooth this down. I mean, that's a lovely lather. I mean, look. Lovely lather. Very high structure, as I said. It feels quite heavy on the face, I guess, um, if you like that. I certainly like that. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is just get get this line. I'm not going to waste any of this. I'm going to put it back on the brush if I can. Okay. Uh, my shirt's a mess, as you would expect after all of that. So. <laughs> um, Very easy to make as well, like, to be honest, like, if you just slowly add water to most of these soaps, they're all fairly easy to make. Um, okay. So we're going to do two passes, bit of a cleanup pass if we have to, but that's fine. This is our Christopher Bradley um, razor from Carve <clears throat> with a Persona Lab Blue on its third use. Let's go with the grain on our first pass. Man, that is slick. That is so slick. <laughs> that is very slick. I put this um in my top three bases for sure. the chance to use a Barrister and Man's Excelsior base yet, so I will get a soap. Due to layer look pretty good, but I've not decided to pick it up yet. Um, helps that I'm using the carve as well, it's a very smooth razor. For sure, so. Man, it's a treat, I'm telling you. One thing I've noticed about this car razor, and one of the downsides, one of the only downsides, is that It doesn't wipe, it's like, when you're stroking, like as you can see, it doesn't wipe away the lather as efficiently as you would want. I mean, there, you saw. I feel as if I have to go over. The soap is so slick, just so slick.
Wow. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, let me rinse off my face a sec and we'll see how slick the, um, well, we'll see how residually slick the lather is. Like, my, my guess is it's going to be extremely slick, but we'll find out, I guess. Let's get all the, uh, all the lather off of me. Whoa. <laughs> Doesn't feel oily. Just feels very, very slick. Wow, what so? Okay, uh, let's lather up again for our second pass. So yeah, the, I'm really enjoying the razor, uh, as you can probably tell by the amount of time I've actually shaved it. Um, it's very good for what it is, in the sense that you know you're not paying two, three hundred dollars for it, which I think anyone can get behind. Um, the fact that it's only ninety US dollars for me makes it one of the best razors. Uh, so I'm, I've, I've just dipped the tips. Well, yeah, still very slick. Okay, let's go cross grain now. Man, that's very slick. Um, smoothness of the razor definitely helps as well though, so they both deserve credit here. I'm up early for uh, the Liverpool game tomorrow, so make sure we get a good night's sleep. We've just drawn a Porto in the Champions League, where United have drawn Barca and City have drawn Spurs, so <laughs> pretty happy with that. Uh, Mixed City's running in April, really just thought they've got uh, United away and Spurs twice. Wow. This soap is excellent, I'm telling you. Excellent. Uh, residual slickness is there in abundance. In terms of scent strength, 10 being like maximum, I'd probably give it about, about a 5. It's not like an overbearing scent. 
So in terms of uh, high sense strength, I'd give um, Oleo Soap Works maybe a 7, 8. But I wouldn't say this is uh, on the strong side at all, so not a bad thing by any means. Okay, let's uh, wash off the face and see if I have any pickups. So what I do with these is I, uh, just to get them with the higher chance of getting them, I get the, my whole neck is closer at this point, but just so I get them, I go really gently across, uh, against the grain. And then on my neck. There we go. Very nice. Excellent. And again over here. So I'd say, um, on the carve, I'm using a B plate, and I would say um, overall that's mild enough for me to use every day. Lovely shame. Uh, let's check residual slickness. I'm gonna wash my face. say is that's a fucking good soap base. Again, I would uh, easily put that top three without a doubt. Uh, let's see what there is left on the brush. Lovely. Beautiful lather left in there still. I didn't load as heavy as I normally would because this soap can be a uh, fuck to hydrate and a uh, if you load a lot, you're going to be here trying to, uh, you know, <laughs> give it water for a long period of time and not trying to bore you guys. Okay, uh, for what first cut of the video, I'm going to clean my area, clean all my gear, clean my face, and I'll see you guys with a post shave. I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, this is a uh, post shape term. Okay, so all we're using today, uh, no Allen block, no balm. This is all we're going to be using. Uh, the ingredients of this, aloe leaf juice, water, sodium, sodium hyal urinate, never heard of that, uh, cross polymer 2, uh, pentylene glycol, propendiol, never heard of that either, Pro propanediol, never heard of it, croton lettery resin powder, fragrance, benzyl benzenate, cinnamyl alcohol, 
linalol, and phenoxyethanol. Uh, no witch hazel, I don't think. Nope, that's red. Uh, smells exactly like the soap. Let's do a one. It's about five there. It's good stuff. Feels a bit sticky, which isn't really to my liking. Okay, the stickiness went pretty quick. Feels good. What I'll do is when I edit the video, I'll, I'll wait about an hour or so and fill my face if it feels hydrated. I've not got any irritation on this shave, so can't really tell you whether it's cured anything on my face, but yeah, that seems to be our shave today. Fantastic soap, fantastic razor, uh, everything I use today. This is the Carved Shaving Co. Christopher Bradley razor. Absolutely excellent. I wish, wish he would hurry up with the stainless version because I would buy that without a doubt. I use this for my post shave and I use the matching soap for my soap. My brush today was the Zen Garden Wolf Whiskers Custom Synthetic. Lovely black black wolf knot as well. Smells just like the soap now, which smells awesome. But yeah, apart from that, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's been really nice shaving in front of you guys again. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. It's been your host Jack with the Virtual Groom Room and goodbye for now.